How's it going guys? Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Lotus trolley bags. If you guys are a personal shopper like me that works for a company like Instacart, Corner Shop, or Shift, or if you guys are just a customer that wants to reduce the amount of plastic they're using for personal shopping, these things are really awesome. It's basically like a filing system for your grocery cart with cooler bags, egg slots, and wine slots. If you guys are worried about breaking eggs, you guys might wanna look into these bags. They come in a set of four, and we're gonna be taking these out to go do an HEB order with Instacart. It was a $20 order and just a single person, but we're gonna test these out, see how they fit in the grocery cart. If you guys see over here, they have these little sticks that do come out so you guys could wash the bag, but that's how it sits on the cart. And then you guys have four of these when you guys buy the package that I have. There will be a link down below for that, or you guys could just go get it on Amazon. But basically, you guys have bags like this. This one is insulated and there are other types. These are really cool and there's a bunch of different sizes for these. While we're on the topic of bags, they also have these produce bags and different sizes, of course. So you guys could get reusable produce bags that you guys could wash. So you guys are still reducing the amount of plastic you're using. This one is a bigger one. So if you guys are getting like a ton of oranges, this is the one you want. Then we got ones that are a lot smaller. If you guys are just getting a couple of limes and lemons, stuff like that. All right, so let's go to HEB and go do this order and go see how these work and if they're helpful. This is the insulated bag and we're gonna throw some of our frozen items in that one. And there's also a Velcro thing on the top to keep it all sealed and cold. This is that produce bag that I was talking about that we'll use whenever we go pick up that cucumber for my customer and we're gonna cut to that in just a second. Alright so now you can get a better view of what this looks like in your grocery cart. So basically I just threw the produce bag in a pocket inside of one of these bags and then I got it out. This works really well if you guys have two separate customers on Instacart. You guys could use the first two bags for customer A and the back two for customer B and so on. If you guys are just shopping for yourself, this also works very nicely because you guys don't have to get grocery bags. You guys could just use this, put them in your cart, take it to your car, and then to your house all in one bag. And your frozen items never leave the insulated bag besides checkout. You can kind of see here, it's like literally a filing system for your grocery cart and it's pretty cool. So now we're unloading everything into my car. I only had one customer, so I didn't even have to worry about keeping these separate. But basically what I did was I had the cashier throw the bags inside of these and we have to use plastic bags whenever we're doing Instacart just because the customers don't want their food just on their porch. So we're just using these mainly to transport and keep everything separate. They have different uses, but here you can see me rolling it up and it does store pretty nicely. There's Velcro to keep it rolled up and tight and that's how you would just transport it to the grocery store. Let's take a little bit of a closer look at these so we could see exactly what each bag does because most of them are a little different in their own way. So first of all, on the front we have the Lotus logo and then it's just like a, a normal insulated bag like type of texture. And then the inside has this reflective material to keep your hot stuff hot, your cold stuff cold. Really nice and if you guys live in Texas like me, you guys need something like that for your ice cream. Then there's this bag. This one has some netting on the bottom so you guys could see like what's in there. This is just for kind of standard items or if you guys have a ton of produce, you could throw it in here as well. This bag is a little bit smaller, but you can see all of them have their own handles. So this is how you carry them. You guys could carry it into your cart carry it back into your car and then back into your house or the other customer's house. And um, they're pretty convenient, especially for personal shopping. So this is the biggest bag. This is not an insulated bag. It's kind of like the one we just looked at, just much bigger. This one's nice because we have a slot here for eggs potentially. And then we also have these wine bottle holders. So if you guys are doing orders at like Costco or something, you guys are worried about the wine like shattering in your cart. This is one way to keep them safe and to keep those eggs safe because we all know we've all broken some eggs. Like I was saying before, these rods do come in and out so you guys could wash these. Just don't wash the insulated bag the same way you wash these. Wash that one by hand. All right, here's another smaller bag. We still have a little holder here for smaller items. If you guys are worried about them like getting broken on something more fragile down here. And yeah, it's basically the same deal as one of the other bags that we looked at. Still has a logo washable and pockets everywhere. Like I was saying earlier, you can also get these reusable produce bags if you guys are trying to not use plastic all the time. 
So these are really nice and they have like a little drawstring on them so you guys can close it off and make sure that you're not gonna lose your apples or oranges, whatever you choose to put in here. They do come in a bunch of different sizes, so that's very nice. On the back here, they say that the large can fit up to 16 oranges, the medium, 10 apples, and then the small, eight limes. Just to give you kind of an example of what you guys could use these for. Then at the very least, you guys don't have to have like your apples and oranges just rolling around on the conveyor belt while you guys don't wanna use the produce bags. So this is just a nice option for that. They can still see through this and the cashiers know like the codes for all these items. So they don't have to scan them necessarily. They can see what's in the bag and then just throw it in and weigh it and you're gonna be set. So that is the Lotus trolley bag. If you guys wanna check these out, I have a link down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys on the next video.